this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use ai to generate good album covers and how to make it into a motion graphic for your songs so make sure you click on the subscribe turn on post notification and drop a comment if this video really helped you now why i'm doing this is because most of you guys have spent a lot of money in making the songs come to life but the videos you won't see on youtube are videos on how you can use the new innovation the ai generation to make your stuff look cleaner crisp and easy so yep i remain your boy his sound producer you welcome to my channel let's dive into the video the first thing we'll be doing is generating our artwork using chat gpt so for most of you watching these videos you might have to upgrade to the new chat gpt4 and that's because gpt4 is really great and it's the best one on the platform right now for stuff like this now the song i want to make is titled i don't know what the song is but let me just generate an artwork with an inspiration from rema and i'm going to just ask chat gpt create an artwork with bats this should be amazing you know let's do it now ChatGPT has an extension called dal E. So this is the GPT-4 extension where um, it can help you generate images without stress. And this is in a, min in, a, in a matter of split minutes and seconds. It's pretty fast. Now I'm sure AI is really scary. It's going to take a lot of people's job, but you can use it to your advantage. Right now, this is uh, an avenue for you to create and creatively create a, a buzz around your music without stress. So you can go for the chat GPT plus it's around $20 a month. And with this, you can create so much. Now here we go. We have an artwork with bats and all I can do is just come here and click on the download and voila here we have an artwork created by chat GPT. So what we can do next is we can now open our CapCut. This is CapCut and it's pretty easy to use. It's free. It does not give us any problem of any sort so we can import by clicking on this tab right here import then we find the image or if we don't want to go through all that process i can minimize this go to my downloads find the clip we just downloaded and drop it here now you can see we have a very crisp good amazing artwork what we need to do next is to animate it in a way it will fit what we are trying to create. Now, if you want to create it for TikTok, if you want to create it for YouTube, this is the video for you. Make sure you click on subscribe because I'm about to show you how to go about this. So this is a, a very dark artwork. For this purpose, I would like to go to Google and search for black backgrounds. Black backgrounds. All right, so in Google, we already have we have black backgrounds here. I'm looking for the one that will fit the narrative of what I'm working on. So let's say I like this one. I can just download and save as, let's call it black background. Background and save it. Then I can come to my cap cut, find this same thing I just downloaded and drop here. I mean, oops, the file format is not supported. So let's get another background. Let's see this one. This looks way better than the one we downloaded. So I can just save this one the way it is. Go back to my cap cards, find the background and drop. Why is this extension giving us issues? So probably what I can do is I can just play with the extensions here and call it JPEG. So this could work now. All right. That's, a, that's an easy hack in case it stops, it does not work. Then we can drop this one here. Let me make this big. So now we have a background. What we need next is an audio. So for copyright purpose, I wouldn't want to use a copyrighted sound. So I might just come to my folders and find maybe any instrumental at all that I just made recently to just avoid any copyright strikes. Let me see. All right, so this is an instrumental here. We can come drop it in our CapCut app. Give me a sec. Sorry. All right, I can come drop this one here. 
All right, so I can drop this on the, let's assume this is our song and this is our background. And I would want this to be in the size of YouTube so I can reframe it. Now this is where you click on this side called the ratio. Depending on what you're working on, I will advise you use the 16 by nine. So you see our artwork is not into it completely. We can come to this skill button right here and resize it to fit every part of it. So all we can do now is drag this to the end of the song. You see now everything is occupied and filled up. Then we can drag this one and drop on top of it and just fill it up straight up. So we can just scale this a little to make it small and voila, this is looking good already. But since it is a dark um, artwork and there's a black background, what I would like to do next is probably get a couple transitions. Now, before I do the transition thing, I also recommend you get some type of text we scout for fonts that's going to make sure that everything we are doing is in line. So if the song's name is called Bat, since we've dragged this default text layer, we can type in Bat. Let me do it in caps lock. All right. Then we can move it around and put it somewhere here or at the top. But I would advise you drop it down here and move this one upwards a little. Depending on the creativity and the concept, so we can change the font design here and maybe find some font that looks cool. I like this one, but let's find a more cool font, Arial. Um, let me see. Let's see. I normally prefer to use the SQL because it looks serious. So this is our song titled Bats. And we fixed it here. All right. So we can drag this to the end so it fits in perfectly. All right. So what we can do is just customize the colors. I don't like the way it's looking just white. We can just play around with colors. I like this one. So I'm taking this one and then I can make it bold by clicking on this B right here. Then we can play around with some of these features here. We have the opacity, which is like increasing the amount of it. I might just reduce it a little like this. Then I can play with the strokes. You see, it brings some kind of border on top. So the stroke is making it look cool, but I don't think I'll be needing much of that thickness of the stroke. I can reduce it a little. Then I can play with the glow. Maybe just increase the intensity. All right. This sits perfectly with what I'm trying to design right here. Then we can play the sound. Let me take the volume down a little. It's looking boring and plain because there's, there's nothing happening. So to animate this, we can come to our transition section here. Why I like CapCut is because most of these things I'm showing you is pretty free and you can explore. All right. Under the transition section, we can add a couple filters to just make the intro. I'm coming. So we can just add, add it to the intro. No, sorry. Let's find some other one that is compatible with this. But before we do that again, some people will recommend we get an effect that will just blend everything all together. So let me find an effect that will be all around the song. And for most of the visualizers I create, I love using black noise. So if I apply black noise to this background, it's going to just distort what's behind. So you can see a little bit flare. There's some kind of grainy movement at the back then we can add this little flame to the main artwork, which is this one at the top, just to give it a more darker feel. All right, so let's play it all together. So everything is coming to life with the effects and the choice of effects will determine how cool your design will look. So let's scroll through and find more effects that we can play around with. But for this tutorial in particular, I would recommend you get some of the shake effects or you can play around with the camera shake and add just motion just to make it look cool. But let's look for the pendulum. A friend of mine recommended that I use the pendulum effects. Let me see where can we find it. The pendulum, pendulum. Let me see. Give me a sec. There's so much here and this is the play pendulum. I can add it to this main one. You can add as many effects as possible, but for the pendulum, I'll reduce the strength 
so it doesn't mess around with my artwork. This is what it does. You see, it makes the artwork move, it makes it shake. <laughs> So the pendulum does not even end there, I can add it to my background too. But look, without reducing the strength, it becomes too much. So I can just reduce the strength a little, reduce the sharpness, and reduce the twist, and reduce the speed. Alright, perfect. So everything is coming to life little by little. We can come here and play around with this one just to give it a little bit feel. We can reduce the opacity a little so it can blend with the background. And if you want to do some other stuff like create some masks on it, maybe reduce the size and all that stuff, we can play around with the mask. Just be creative around it. There's no restriction to what you can do in CapCut. And under the enhanced side, if there was a face or a picture of someone on it, you can just come here add effects, add some middle parts and play around with it. But for this tutorial, I'm not going in depth. I'm just showing you guys how you can do it in the basic style. So here we have, we have a simple movable, um, moving album cover and the title, but to spice it up again, I make it cinematic. I can reduce the size of the title and then duplicate this or create another text layer here. Maybe I can just name it. All right. So this is the text layer here. I can take it downwards and reduce the size. Then type out now. All right. Then we can use the same text. Let's use our SQL and choose a design from here. There are lots of preset styles you can choose from this part. And it does what makes CapCut really cool. You can play around with textiles. You see, there are so many textiles you can play around with. But I like this one, so I'll use this one. I'll reduce the size here. And voila, that's it right here. It's slowly coming to life. Then if you want to add some other stuff like the Spotify logo and stuff we can just come here check for spotify logo png and you see there are lots of them here we can just choose anyone we like i like this one so i'm going to just save this one and title this okay spotify logo it's there already all right then i come to my cap cards and okay give me a sec I can unzoom, drag what we just downloaded, and drop. You have to go to the media side, come here, drag, and drop. So I can drop this here. You see it's in PNG file, so I can actually customize it. So I'll drop it by the edge. Then we can choose Apple Music. We can find Apple Music logo. All right, this is much more preferable, but I don't think this is in PNG anyway. Maybe I can go for this one. But to save myself all the stress and time, I can actually take this bundle one. This looks really cool. This looks pretty solid, but there's a watermark on it, so I might just let it go. And yeah, we are lucky. We have the Apple Music PNG. So I can save it as Apple Music. And save to my downloads go back to my cap cards find what we just downloaded and drop here i can put it at the top reduce the size okay this is not in png so if you have an image that is not in png you can actually come to go to a website called um i'm coming you can go to png remover by adobe all right, so you can go to this free Adobe PNG remover. You can just upload a picture that does not have uh, that that you want to remove the background to make it easier for yourself. Okay, so here we can browse for the Apple Music one. Apple Music, here it is. This is the power of AI. It just finds out what you need and downloads it ASAP. 
can come back to our CapCut and do the process. Okay, here we have the PNG file. It's here, no background. So I might just delete this one and add this here. Then reduce the size. Okay, we have to fill this in. Then reduce the size so it can be the same with what we have here. And then we can drag them to the edge so we don't forget what we already started. You can do this with as many logos as possible. But for this video, I'll just be using these two. I can just find a position here and keep them. Let me see. This is not in alignment. Okay. Um, scale down. All right. So you can do this with as many logos as you want. This is just you being creative around getting a good solidified album cover without stress. So for those of you that are watching this video, CapCut PC is absolutely free. You can do this in your mobile device. It's still the same process. All I want you to know is there's a lot you can do with AI and the free version of CapCut. I heard there's a premium one. I haven't gotten the premium one yet. This is just the free one that I saw online and I'm using it to show you guys how you can do it for free. So you can still apply the same effects to this one just to give it movement. You see here we have this one, reduce the strength and add this one to here, reduce the strength and play around with this. Then let's play it. Yeah, you see it's moving, it's bouncing. Right, so to click that, you can just double tap at the top here, and these are your effects. You can edit, just increase the twists, and here you have a visualizer. So if you want to post this same thing on TikTok, I have a very good news for you. When you click on the export in CapCut, after you render the video, it will automatically rescale this for the purpose of TikTok. Let me show you an example. So let's say, for instance, we name this the Bats visualizer and click on export the moment it finishes the export rate um, it's going to give us a preview where we can download the TikTok and reels and YouTube shorts version all right so right after it exports you see a little window here creating a generative cover for us you can share it to TikTok and YouTube and anywhere you want so if we want to do this manually, we can actually just come here, click on the aspect ratio and click on nine by 16. And voila, this is it. We have our TikTok size. Only thing we can do is for accuracy, we can just move some stuff around and increase the size of some of this stuff here. Like this out now, we can just kill it like this. Our bats can take it upwards and scale the size and take this one upwards and the back the back image we can scale it like this to fill everywhere and play it so that's it basically there's nothing much and i'm not a graphic designer so i'm just giving you guys a free update you can be creative around it and make sure you do the best you can with this because this is the first channel you are going to be seeing this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click on the subscribe my name is hit sound follow me on all platforms and check out my other videos to see more outstanding contents like this see you guys next time stay great